Expression trees in C-sharp are an important concept primarily used in the creation and manipulation of linked queries. They represent code in a tree-like data structure where each node is an expression, for example, a method call or a binary operation like addition. Here's an example to demonstrate a basic use case of expression trees. Here we declare an expression of a function that takes two integers as input and returns an integer. The expression is a plus b, which sums the two integers. We then compile this expression using the compile method. This gives us a delegate that we can invoke like a normal function. We then invoke the delegate with the numbers 5 and 3 and write the result to the console. The output is 8, which is the sum of 5 and 3. Now in the second example, we will build an expression tree manually and then run it. This is a bit more complex example, but it demonstrates the power of expression trees to create and execute code dynamically. Here we first create a parameter expression numparam for the parameter num of type int. We create a constant expression 5 representing the number 5. We create a binary expression num less than 5, which represents the operation num is smaller than 5. We then create a lambda expression, lambda 1, and we compile this expression into a delegate compiled. We invoke this delegate with the numbers 4 and 6 and print the results. The delegate returns true when invoked with 4, since 4 is less than 5, and false when invoked with 6, since 6 is not less than 5. Let's consider a real-life scenario where expression trees can be quite useful. Building a dynamic query for filtering data. Imagine you have a list of products and you want to filter them based on user input. The user can specify a product's name, its category, or its price. Using expression trees, you can build a dynamic query that adjusts to the user's input. Here's the code. In this example, we have a list of product objects and we want to filter these based on user input. We create an expression tree that represents the action of comparing the product's name to the user's input. This expression tree can then be compiled and used to filter our list of products, returning only those products where the name matches the user input. If you want to learn more about the expression trees in C-sharp, go to the official documentation or visit our website codeprepping.com, where we have hundreds of interview questions with answers. Thank you for watching.